Welcome everyone to my deep learning series, first tutorial about logistic regression and this logistic regression series will be as basics for deep learning because you must know how what is logistic regression and how it works before moving forward. So in this tutorial I will talk about sigmoid and sigmoid derivatives. So, so to learn about logistic regression as I told, we first need to learn uh, logistic regression basic properties. And only then we'll be able to build a machine learning model on a real world application. So, as I told you before, we'll do everything step by step. So, classification techniques are an essential part of machine learning and data mining applications. Most problems in data science are classification problems. There are a lot of classification problems that are available, but the logistic regression is a common and is a useful regression method for solving the binary classification problems. Logistic regression can be used for various classification problems such as spam detection, prediction if a customer will purchase a particular product or he will choose another competitor, whether their user will click on a given advertisement or not, and there might be many more examples. So logistic regression is one of the most simply and commonly used machine learning algorithms for two class classification. It is easy to implement and can be used as the baseline for any binary classification problem. Its basic fundamental concepts are also constructive in deep learning. Logistic regression describes and estimates the relationship between one dependent binary variable and the independent variables. And for logistic regression, we'll use NumPy, which is the main and the most user package for scientific computing in Python. It is maintained by a large community, and in this tutorial, we'll learn several key NumPy functions such as NumPy Exponential and NumPy Reshape. You will need to know how to use these functions for future deep learning tutorials. So, at first, you can see here a sigmoid function and we'll learn how to implement it. It is a logistic function given as S-shaped curve that can take any real valid numbers and map it into a value between 0 and 1. And if the co curve goes uh, to positive infinity, I predicted will become 1, and if the curve goes to negative infinity, I predicted will become 0, as you can see here and here. And if the output of the sigmoid function is more than 0.5, we can classify that outcome as 1 or yes, and if less than 0.5, we can classify as no. So, for example, if the output is 0.75, we can say in terms of probability that there is 75% chance that it's yes. So, before using a NumPy exponential function, we'll use math exponential function. So, we will implement uh, such a sigmoid function. This is uh, written as a sigmoid function. And we'll use a math library here. So, let's write it as follow and import math here and we'll write our first defined function is basic sigmoid function input will be x and we write it as this and we write as 1 plus uh, math exponential function and inside is minus x and we simply use return s. So, uh, to test this function, we can try to call this with 1. I'll zoom it in. And, oh, sorry, I'll need to write a print basic sigmoid s, just like that. And as you can see, it gave us a number. But, for example, if we will try to use something like an array or a list for example we'll call create a list which will be one two and three for example and call it here we'll receive a big error 
which says that bad operand for unary. So it doesn't work like that. So what we need to do is we need to use a numpy array. So here I just I will create a numpy array. But still we need to change our sigmoid function. So just we'll change this uh, np exponential function just like that. And now if I'll build build my code um sorry didn't change this everything should be sorry again numpy snp everything should be fine here and as a, as a result we receive three values this is because uh math library uses uh real numbers and numpy library uses vectors uh, or mac matrices so it's computing things much much faster and for example here in our function we can use either vectors numbers or doesn't matter it's matrices so for example if we will write 5 it still works for us and we'll, if we will write x numpy array it works also just fine so uh, when constructing a neural network model, one of the primary consideration is choosing an activation function for hidden and output layers so that are differentiable. This is because calculating the backpropagated error signal that is used to determine neural network's parameter updates requires the gradient of the activation function. Three of the most commonly used activation functions used in neural networks are identity function, the logistic sigmoid function, and tangent function. Also, there is a ReLU. So, simply talking, we need to compute gradients to optimize loss function using backpropagation. So, let's code our first logistic regression gradient function. It looks like this sigmoid derivative and here is our implemented function. So this is a sigmoid and this is also our sigmoid. But let's implement. It will be much easier for you to understand everything when you see. So what we do is here we define a new function and I will call it define sigmoid oh, so, sorry sigmoid derivative 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 and also x will be an input um, and now I'll calculate a sigmoid of x and then I'll calculate a derivative so it will be ds equal to sigmoid multiplied by 1 minus sigmoid this is our derivative and we can call it here define sigmoid print oh sorry i forgot to use return so return ds so as you can see we received uh three values it was quite easy doesn't it so <clears throat> what we'll do forward we'll visualize our sigmoid so you it's not necessary but you will understand it more clearly how we get it how we get that s shape curve from our simply this function so to visualize our sigmoid and sigmoid derivative function we will generate a uh, 100 numbers from 10 from minus 10 to 10 and use matplotlib library so it's not necessary for, for you to do this but I'll write everything here so I'll delete this and what we need to do is here from my plot lib import plab and import plab as plt we'll use these functions and here we create a simply function so values are equal to plt line space and here we use minus 10 to 10 values and 
and 100 of values. Just quite, this is quite simple. So now we'll use plt plot. What we'll do is we'll plot uh, values and we'll call a sigmoid function to these values. And our curve will be in a red color, just like that. Now I'll copy this, so I would like to get a sigmoid derivatives also in the same graph. And what I'll do is plt grid, I'll add a grid term to my plot. And for now, it doesn't need anything more, so I'll just write plt show. So let's build this, and as you can see, this is our red is our sigmoid, and red is, I mean blue is our sigmoid derivative, and red is our sigmoid functions. As you can see, it's quite easy for now, and it doesn't take a lot of to understand, so just follow my tutorials. So in this tutorial, we reviewed a sigmoid activation function used in neural networks literature and sigmoid derivative calculation. Note that there are also many other options for activation functions we'll use in the future. So it, it is something like tangent, relu, softmax, and etc. So before you writing a list logistic regression classification code, we still need to cover what is array shaping, row normalization, broadcasting, and vectorization. We'll cover them in our second tutorial. For now, that's it. I hope you liked my this tutorial. Like this, subscribe, and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you all for watching.